because I researched the geological map. First is do your research because it pays off. I highly recommend you do the research first. For researching gold prospecting locations. Find 95% of the gold, a big part of that is research. You see, research equals knowledge and knowledge equals results. Because I researched the what geological map, first do the research first. I recommend you do the research first. 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 Research Do you feel like everyone is finding gold other than you? Well today, no more guessing. If you want to know where the gold is, I'll tell you where it is. The gold is in the ground. You have to do the research to locate that ground, to locate that gold. Are you continually seeing fellow prospectors continually finding gold and you're scratching your head as to as to why and to how do they keep doing this many prospectors are discouraged by the amount of work and time that can be involved in researching new areas but when you find a new spot with good gold it will be worth every effort i can't stress enough the importance of research. And I'm talking about real nitty gritty research. Get your hands dirty because research is the all important first step that needs to be accomplished. Researching and exploring new areas in which to prospect for gold can be a lot of work, but the process can go much quicker and easier when you know where to start. If the weather where you are living is keeping you indoors much of the time like it currently is for me, use your downtime wisely by researching and planning for that next trip when the weather recovers. But don't just rely on one source of information. Confirm it through several sources as Gold prospectors are known to talk a bit of shit. It's not that you don't trust Uncle Bob or a friend of a friend's tips, but the facts can get a little distorted and forgotten over time. And that secret nugget patch found 30 years ago might not be so much of a secret anymore. The best kind of research brings together different forms of information from a multitude of sources. It is the information gained from a combination of sources that can help you determine the best possible places to locate your precious metal gold. But why is research important? Where do you research? What and how should you research? So what does the word research actually mean? Well, according to Google, research is a systematic process of inquiry that aims to discover, interpret, and apply knowledge to advance understanding or solve a problem. It involves gathering information, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions to address a specific question or objective. So if you invest your hard earned money into a new car, what steps would you take? Would you perhaps go online and research the colors that are available? Would you research the places that sell these types of cars that match your budget? Would you research previous reviews on that car? My point is you would do some research before committing yourself to that car. The same goes for gold prospecting. So why is research 
important for gold prospecting. Research expands on our current understanding of knowledge, facts and information, whether it be science, technology, relationships or gold prospecting. Research contributes to the overall accumulation of knowledge and it drives progress. Now let me repeat that because it's important. Research contributes to the overall accumulation of knowledge and it drives progress. So research helps to identify and address problems or challenges in different areas. Here we are talking about gold prospecting. So can you think of problems that us as gold prospectors may encounter? And perhaps what are the best methods or means to resolve these problems prior to undertaking gold prospecting as an activity? I could go on for days. The point I'm trying to make is by researching and investigating causes, effects and potential solutions, your research will inform your decision making process. Research fuels new ideas, new approaches. It creates opportunities for development. Research provides evidence that informs your decision making process. It helps us as gold prospectors make informed choices based on data and evidence rather than on speculation, opinion and hearsay. So why is research important? Overall, research is essential for gold prospectors to advance their current knowledge addressing challenges and improving the potential outcome for gold prospectors. And that potential outcome is finding gold. Let's talk about the places where a gold prospector could research information. Now the names, the terminology, titles, they may be different in your location so I will keep it as generic as possible. Government geological surveys often provide valuable information about the geology and mineral potential for specific areas. So research geological surveys. Research mining companies, as many mining companies actually publish reports, exploration findings and geological data that can be very useful for us gold prospectors. So in researching, you identify the title holder or a title holder in history of a portion of land, then you Google that mining company and on their website, you look for announcements and publications and see if they have any information there on that area you're wanting to go prospecting on. Do they have geological reports, exploration reports? There are online mining forums dedicated to mining and prospecting, and they can be great sources of information, providing tips and advice from experienced geologists and prospectors. Historical records including old maps, title reports of old mining claims, reports from previous prospectors, historical newspaper articles, early exploration reports, all these can offer valuable insights into areas with potential gold deposits. National and state mining departments may provide information on land ownership, title ownership, laws and regulation, and potential gold prospecting and fossicking areas. 
quite often there are academic papers and studies on geology and mining can provide valuable insights once again into the geological characteristics of gold bearing areas. Local libraries and archives hold historical documents, maps and records relating to mining activities and early settlement and geological surveys in the area. And then there is the other item you can find in a library called a book. Yes, a book. Now books were around for hundreds of years before Google. I know some of you younger folks might be a little surprised to learn that, but books are a fantastic resource to use for research. Online mapping tools like Google Earth, Trilobyte Solutions and government websites like here in the NT we have Strike. It's a digital tenure and geology information site that can help prospectors visualise geological features, land formations and potential prospecting areas. Check with your local mines department site as they more than likely have something to view. Joining prospectors associations or clubs can provide access to resources, networking opportunities and access to tips and shared knowledge among fellow prospectors. Visiting gold bearing areas and attending field trips organised by geological societies or clubs or joining a guided tour can provide first-hand experience and insights into prospecting techniques and potential sites. These resources can help a gold prospector gather valuable information and increase their chances of success in finding gold deposits. Let's recap here. Online databases, think geology, think metal detector manufacturing companies and online forums, library books, journals and other reports and resources, websites of universities, research institutions and Government agencies often provide valuable research materials, reports and data. Archives and museums may contain historical documents, artefacts and other materials relevant to the certain topic you are researching. Mines department, exploration reports, geoscience record, maps, industry reports, mining company reports. But when researching, it's very important to evaluate the credibility and the reliability of sources when conducting research. You now know where to research. Now let's talk about what you should research. Do I need permission? Before you even consider going to a location, you may need to obtain consent. You may need to get a permit. You may need to provide notification. You need to ensure this is done at the first instance, as it may take some time to get a response and it may impact on your ability to go to that spot you are wanting to prospect. So check with the local authority responsible for mining activities. Continuing on with what you should research. Research the environmental conditions and research and adhere to regulations and best practices for prospecting. Research what equipment and tools you can legally use. Research and familiarise yourself with the region's climates and prepare for extreme weather conditions. And following on from this, researching safety measures do you have appropriate and durable safety gear do you need vehicle recovery gear in the event your vehicle gets stuck research means of communications and methods there's a good chance there will be no mobile phone reception where you go gold prospecting so what can you do to contact someone in the event of an emergency and one of the most critical and important things to learn 
and to research is the geology. Learn some simple geology. Learn the features of gold geology in your area that you're proposing to go prospecting in. What is known? What other minerals is known to be associated with gold? Learn some basic gold indicators. Speak to past gold prospectors that have been in that region prospecting before. Respectfully ask them prospectors what worked for them and what didn't work for them. Local knowledge can go a very long way. There are websites and blogs filled with educational articles and guides, as well as YouTube channels like this one and a couple others that featured at the start of this video. These YouTube channels are typically created by local prospectors which document their gold discoveries. They test equipment and they talk about prospecting methods and more. Many old mining areas are shown on the older topographic maps, but usually not the newer versions. So try to find the older maps as many of the newer versions may have old mines removed as a way for the government to keep the general public safe by not advertising the whereabouts of the old and dangerous mine shafts. Use aerial photos to your advantage. Use platforms like Google Earth as it's amazing. It has high quality and detailed images. Many times you can see individual trees, hiking trails, rock outcrops and even hand stacked piles of rocks left by old timers. Sometimes larger features and patterns such as areas that miners may have removed cannot be seen from the ground when you were actually there but are very obvious from far above in the sky with an aerial photograph. So use Google Earth to your advantage. It's a good way to get an idea of tracks, terrain and other conditions in that area. So you'll know in advance what to look out for. Google Earth ties in with GPS as well. So you can review the photos, check them against your maps and your research and get the GPS coordinates of the precise location that you are wanting to visit. No more guessing. Once again, you are narrowing down the potential to find gold. Now I could literally rattle on for hours about the importance of researching, but I think you get the picture. There are some bloody great resources available for us gold prospectors to start researching. And in closing, I want to once again emphasize the need to research. Don't take shortcuts. Do your research and equip yourself with the relevant knowledge. My name is Matt. Stay safe out there and happy prospecting.